Hello and welcome to Pandora FMS. In today's video, we will explain how to install Pandora FMS environment step by step through the online installation script. To begin with, you will need to consider the following requirements in order to begin the installation. First, the machine must have access to the internet, because during the execution of the installation script, it is required to access certain URLs and official repositories of the distribution used. You must have curl install, which usually comes by the full install in most distributions. The minimum hardware requirements that we recommend must also be met. When proceeding with the installation, execute the command to be used as root user. And finally, have a supported OS. It could be CentOS 7, Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8, or Rocky Linux 8. If it is an RH distribution, it must be previously activated with a license and subscribed to the standard repositories. To proceed with this video, we created a machine with Rocky Linux 8. As you may see if you look at the contents of the slash etc slash os dash release file. If you already have all the other requirements, just check that you're actually running the commands as root user and proceed with the execution of the online installation tool. This process will install the latest available version of Pandora FMS. Now wait for the installation process to finish. Once the installation is complete, you will be able to access Pandora FMS console through your browser. Finally, as an extra for the video, we will see the environment variables that you may modify prior to Pandora FMS installation. Some things that you may modify are the time zone with the variable dz, the host of the database, the name, the username and password of the database, in addition to its port or the password of the root user of the database, which is by default Pandora. You may also prevent it from checking if a previous Pandora FMS installation already exists, skip installing a new database, or skip the recommended kernel optimization. Other variables such as MyVer or PHPVer allow you to define which version of MySQL and PHP you want to install. In MySQL, you may indicate 80 for MySQL 8 or 57, which is the default option, for MySQL 5.7. With PHP, you may indicate 8 for PHP 8 or 7 by default for PHP 7. You will also be able to define the URLs of the RPM package of the Pandora FMS server, console and agent, which by default point to the latest version available. And finally, you may indicate whether you want to install packages of the latest beta version available, recommended only for test environments. If specific packages are indicated, this option is ignored. To find out more about the environment variables, there is a workshop on this topic in our channel, so go check it out. And that was it for today's video. Don't forget it. If you like the video, smile, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe. Any suggestions, questions, or ideas, please leave them in the comments below. Remember that if you're interested in trying Pandora FMS Enterprise, you may contact us to get a free 30-day trial. Thank you very much for your time and we hope to see you in social media and in future learning videos.